So my name is Iretia Didimo, um, I'm a clinical academic trainee so I have a contract which splits my time 50-50 between um, my clinical training um, and the university. Um, so I first started in research in 2016 um, and my first project was a, um, a pilot study looking at using digital health to try and improve asthma adherence and the hope we had was that if we could improve um, people's adherence to their inhalers that might improve, improve their asthma control. Um, and so that involved setting up a study, it involved a qualitative study as well, which is great because you sort of get to sit down with people and, and really kind of understand a little bit more about their context and um, understand some of the results we had in the quantitative side of the study as well. Um, so that's been my main research focus um, up until sort of 2020. Um, since then, I'm trying to develop my own programme of research. Um, so my dream would be to do some work looking at the social determinants of health um, and how they affect asthma outcomes um, and then trying to see whether we can um, do some sort of interventions in routine clinical practice that can reduce some of those disparities. I've done some work with uh, one of the clinical academics who um, is based at the University of Nottingham and um, Nottingham University Hospitals Trust. Um, so Dr Fogarty looked at um, using pulse oximeters um, and the, the accuracy of pulse oximeters essentially in particularly people with black and brown skin. Um, so it was a real privilege to work with him um, doing some of the um, a sort of dissemination of, of the outcomes that they found. Um, my work, because it's going to involve uh, basically working with people who have been underserved um, by both healthcare and by research, um, I've done some public and patient involvement work with underreached groups um, and again just trying to understand things from their perspective um, and what their priorities are in terms of research going forwards. Um, I think I'm actually really excited and really optimistic about the future of research. I think there's um, been a real recognition over the years that um, uh, people um, who come from more diverse backgrounds often aren't included or haven't been included in research historically. Um, and that, um, that means that there have been challenges with their health outcomes um, and I think COVID would be the classic example where um, when people from underreached groups are excluded that has real outcomes for everyone um, and I think there is an increasing recognition particularly since COVID um, but also since austerity and some of the work that um, people like Professor Marmot have done and um, that actually it's good for all of our health if our research is diverse um, and I think that that means that funding bodies are thinking about this a lot more um, and I think the future um, in terms of diversity and research is really exciting um, I think more people are thinking about it and more people understand its importance. Thank you.